This tutorial demonstrates how to create your own views in the Mortgage Ball system. Views are essentially different lists that we can create in Mortgage Boss within the Deals or Contacts module. We can create a view in Mortgage Boss for just about anything you're looking for, as long as the fields are found within a deal or a contact card. The purpose of creating views is to help you create a list of a certain group of individuals that you're targeting. You can use these views for your own data collection, you can export them, and you can use them as your target group when you're sending out mail merges via Mortgage Boss. Today, we will be creating a deals view to show all of my deals that are renewing within the next six months. To do this, I will go to the deals module and select one of my views to open up the deals module. Now that I am in a deals view, at the top of the page, I will select the option that reads manage views. We will then be directed to the manage views screen. If you would like to edit any of your views, you will select them under the option my views and look at the drop down list. If you're creating a brand new view, you will select the option add a view to the right. The first thing you will be asked to do is provide a view name. For this example, we will say six month renewals. Below the view name is a teal box that reads fields. Here we will select the option deals. This will pull up all of the deal fields within one of your deals in the boss system. At the very top of the list are the most popular fields. These are the fields used most frequently. When we select these fields under selection options, it will add them on the right hand side, just like this, applicant first name and applicant last name. These are all of the columns that you will see in your view. We will also want to see the deal expert ID, the deal mortgage boss ID. We might wanna view the closing date and the maturity date. And then you can go through and select any other fields that you would like to see within your view. These are the columns that you want to see within your view. But now we have to tell Mortgage Boss exactly what criteria to use to pull the specific view. Right now, if I hit create view as is, the view will create in the system. However, it will have no criteria, meaning all of my deals will show up. As we want to specifically pull deals that are renewing in the next six months, I'm going to add a few advanced filters. All you need to do is select the plus sign to the right of advanced filter. And then under field name, you will search the field. The first filter I want to add is deal owner. So I will simply start to look up owner. Once I see deal owner, I will select it. And under logic to apply, I will click on the drop down option. As we want to make sure this is all of my deals in Mortgage Boss, I will use the equal to option. I will then type in my full name under the value. Now Mortgage Boss knows to pull all of my deals in particular. Deal owner is an important filter to use if you're creating a view as a team leader. If you have anybody under your team, you want to ensure that you use this filter so that you're only pulling your specific deals. I will then hit the plus sign to add my second filter. This is where we want to tell boss exactly which date range we're pulling for. As this is everything renewing in the next six months, I want to use the field maturity date. Under field name, I will start typing in maturity date. And again, I will select this once it populates. As this is now a date range, you'll notice there's just the value option. If you click on the drop down, you can select different date ranges, like anything in the next seven days, anything in the next 30 days, 60 days, or 90 days. For this view, I'm going to use the option between two dates. Select between two dates, and now you will see a date range show up. Select start date, and you will notice a calendar pop up. 
as this is anything renewing within the next six months, I will do July 2020 to January 2021. I can simply use the arrows on the calendar to select my date. I will select the date from the calendar and hit OK. And I will do the same thing for the end date. As the end date is in another year, I can roll through with the arrows or I can select the year at the top of my calendar. Then I can select the year from the list. And now I can scroll to the appropriate month. Select my date and hit OK. Now Mortgage Boss knows to pull all of my deals maturing between July 1st, 2020 and January 1st, 2021. At this point, my last step is to simply select the option that reads Create View. When you select Create View, you will see a green ribbon appear, letting you know the view was created successfully. If you get a red ribbon, this means there was an error in creating your view. All you need to do is contact the Mortgage Boss support team and they will assist you in editing this view. I will now hit Create View and you will see the green ribbon pop up, letting me know it was created successfully. Now to find this view, I will go back into the deals module and this time I will select the option, see all views. If I scroll down on my left-hand side, I will see all of my created views. I will select the six month renewal view. This then directs me to my view that I have just created. You can also create any views within the contacts module as well. However, if you are creating a contacts view, you're going to be pulling the fields from a contact card. If I go into one of my contact cards, I can see that I have designated this contact as a lawyer under the field contact type. Now, if I wanted to go back into the contacts module and create a view pulling all of my lawyers, I know that I can do this with the field contact type. You will simply select the sprocket image and again select the option add a view. If you need any assistance at all when you're creating your views in the Mortgage Boss system or you run into any issues, feel free to contact our Mortgage Boss support team. This is how to create views within the Mortgage Boss system.